welcome back to the show. Here, like so many places in the South Pacific, certain parts of your day could be sunny and bright, and other parts of your day, well, not so much. The good thing is that the weather here changes quickly. If it starts out gloomy, it doesn't mean it's going to stay that way. So, regardless of the weather in Panape, you should always grab your camera and go out and do some exploring. These are the top 10 things you should do when you are in Panape, Micronesia. Number 10. Be sure to experience Manta Road. You will never forget this. Manta Road is a sanctuary, uh, mostly because the manta rays aggregate there. It's a narrow channel. You don't even have to get off the boat to see them. They come right to you. Number nine, get yourself invited to a Micronesian family party. Bernie, what do we got here? Well, this is our way of cooking the pig. Like the Hawaiian says what? The Hawaiians, we have an uh, underground, underground. Uh, oven we call imu. Mm. And ours, we call it um. 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 Same process of the whole pig? Yeah, same process. Nothing, the, the only difference is ours is on top, not underground. We use lava rocks, our own uh, volcanic rock here, and you heat up the rocks, they stay they stay uh, hot for minimum of two to three hours. Mm -hmm. They stay hot, and that's what we use to cook the pig. What kind of plants are you using? Yeah, this is uh, banana leaves and taro leaves. You know, back home when we have an emu, it yeah. takes a long time to cook the pig. How long are you folks um, uh, cooking this one? One hour. It only takes one hour? Yep, one hour. Well, that's perfect, that's even yeah. better. Yeah. This is like a microwave compared yep. to the emus back home. Yep, yep. Right on, can't wait Hi. to taste it. Looks good. <laughs> Looks real good. Number eight on the top 10 things you should do when you're in Panape. Take your favorite fishing lures out for a boat ride. It came as no surprise to us. These custom made saltwater flies by Herb Yamanaka hook up fish when nothing else will. Number seven, don't forget to visit the Panape Pepper Store. The pepper here is considered by culinary experts as the best tasting pepper in the world. It is a special treat to bring this back home for your family as well as for your friends. Number six, check out the local fish market. Some of the items for sale here you'll recognize, others you may not, but you'll certainly see something you'll want to take home for dinner. Number five on the top 10 things you should do when you're in Panape. You must visit the ruins of Nan Madal. This prehistoric wonder built around 500 AD, is the largest archeological site in the Pacific. This ancient city is made up of logs of basalt weighing from 500 to 750 tons apiece. Legend says that men who mastered magic were responsible for the creation of this huge fortress. Number four, take a jet ski ride through the mangroves. It's a cool enough deal just to ride a jet ski, but it's even more fun weaving through the tunnels of the mangrove forest. There aren't that many places in the world where you can do this. Number three, go bottom fishing. I can't think of anyone who doesn't enjoy this. The action is just about guaranteed, and although some of the fish look slightly different than the ones we catch back home in Hawaii, the enjoyment of the outing is exactly the same. <laughs> Number two, get ringside seats to the Panapean surf that some describe as the best in the world. 
You don't have to be a pro to appreciate this, but you might want to be sure you know your limits before you jump in. Watching the masters tame these waves will make anyone wish they could surf too. And the number one thing you should do when you are in Ponape, Micronesia, get yourself to the Ponape Surf Club, because it is here where you will find our favorite thing to do when visiting Ponape, and that's fishing. Oh, yeah, stay out, yeah, stay out. All right. Woohoo! Yeah, help with that one. Oh. You're ready. Can I bring that one to the leader? Oh, nice fish. Oh. Nice dry stuff. Good going, Keith. <laughs> you did have some catching up to do, but now you're on the scoreboard. Well, if you ask me, it looks like we have enough to share with all of our friends back at the PCR Hotel. Better save some time to help clean and cut up all this fresh fish. But before we do that, let's get our picture taken. Folks, a lot of people to say thank you for this great fishing trip before we take the fish up to the PCR dining room. Of course, Captain Alois, Gary Al, Keith Nishioka. Folks, don't go away. A lot more of the fishing show is coming your way right after you catch this. <laughs> 